Yes, welcome back. Welcome back to yet again another thrilling episode of the Michael Deacon program. Good morning or good evening. No matter where you are on this island earth, we are pleased to have you. Oh yeah, of course. Congratulations on stumbling upon us in these dark corners of the internet. We do like to keep a very, very low profile as this is just a little talk show. In a moment, we'll be discussing some very dark and toxic things. A topic that will surely upset everyone. And of course, connect everyone in the very end. Oh, trust me. 
I love these type of episodes. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm glad you're here. Get ready, folks. It's going to be a good one. All right, all right, all right, all right. We get it, we get it. Yes. I had to take a little drink there. I apologize for that one, but you got to drink some whiskey every now and then. It puts some hair on your chest and on your balls. Mike, how you doing, my friend? Well, hello there, Michael Deacon. Hi. How you doing, brother? I'm pretty good. I had a drink a little bit, so, you know, I let the music <laughs> play as I took a few shots. Well, let me tell you, after that episode that we just went through for the last, what, 25 minutes, I think you deserve one. I think I do. I needed one. I was going to wait till a little bit later, but I thought, you know what, Mike, what the hell? This is my show. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and I wanted to welcome you to the further beginnings of uh, WW3. Oh, I know, Mike, but come on, let's not, uh, we're, getting know, ahead of we're getting a little ahead of yourself there. I know, I didn't want to bring the show down. Don't but bring it down yet. I'm we, not bringing it down. We haven't even played the clips yet. I know, I'm just saying, welcome to the beginnings of the third WW. Don't remind me. I'm not. Gotta wait till saying. the end. That one, though, that's a, that's a <laughs> serious a, one. I got a couple of topics I'm going to bring to your attention as well tonight. And I'm going to put you on mute. <laughs> and I'm, that's when I'm going to kick you off the show. You SOB. I, that's, the, that's for the best, Mike. Folks, I got to tell you. When, I, when, I, when Michael and I got on tonight before the show, we were working out a couple of issues um, on his side and my side. And let me tell you, man, this mf -er worked on that computer and, and the mixing board that he has to deal with, and he got this whole thing figured out. So kudos to Mr. Deacon. Very well done, my friend. That was some Tom Cruise type shit right there, Mike. I'm telling you. <laughs> I had to jump down. I had to go through windows. I had to do all kinds of things behind the scenes. But that in the end, we're here. That was a Mission Impossible issue. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, Mike. Everything was not working according to plan. I was worried. I was. I almost had a seizure. <laughs> I was going to start shaking around like Michael J. Fox in a moment here. Oh, golly. I was uh, that bad. I'll tell you, I was actually feeling bad for you. I was dying to help you out in any way. But there was, what can I do? <laughs> Nothing I can do. But I'm glad to say... That I've got a new microphone. Yeah. And uh, I actually plugged it in, and it, it's on. I'm excited for you, Mike. Un unlike Michael's situation, where we yeah. could not figure out what the hell was going on on his side. We did it, though. And we're here, and Mike, I was just telling the internet, in a moment we're going to be discussing the topic of toxic women. Oh, boy. Yes, yeah, a topic that will piss a lot of people off, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. As it always does, right? Every show kind of uh, gets people going. It's the angry. Can I, can't, uh, never mind, go ahead. Yeah, Mike, you know, don't do anything. I was going to just bring up a little topic that had to do with women. Nothing long. I just want to ask if you knew what vabbing was. What, what is that, Mike? Never heard of vabbing, V-A-B-B-I-N-G? No, I'm not as hip as you, Mike. Okay, so what I happened? just learned that. Okay, very short subject. I can tell you right now what it is. I learned this the other day. Yeah. Um, on uh, YouTube from somebody who was examining a TikToker. So vabbing, for those of you who don't know, is the procedure of ready. I hope you're sitting down. Is the procedure of rubbing vaginal fluids oh my on one's self as a perfume. <laughs> really. Yes. Apparently, girls, uh, women, uh, feel that the f there are pheromones, allegedly there are pheromones within that vaginal juice, um, attracts men or wow. maybe or maybe cats. I don't know. We're but, learning um, a lot tonight. Yeah. So I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. There are women out there who believe that vabbing by putting certain bodily fluids on their bodies, like, like perfume, oh. a little on the neck, a little on the wrists, a little oh. on the, the thighs, whatever – and that they feel that will attract men. Personally, I think you'd smell like a fish, but 
whatever. I'm learning a whole lot here tonight, Mike. I had no idea that we were going to be learning these things here uh, tonight, <laughs> me and the audience and everyone else. You know, knowing the subject that we were hey, well, talking that, that about was tonight. a positive note at least. So that's good. I, right? I had to bring that up. I yeah. had to bring that up to you. <laughs> I love that. Anywho, how hey, you doing, brother? I'm you good. Doing okay, I'm doing good. All right out there. Yeah. All right. I'm all about the business here tonight, Mike. I uh, I'm not here heard, for your your weather talk. I uh, I heard a couple of bad things about your state today, but I'm not going to get into it. Yeah, that's not the that's not what we're here to discuss yet. Nope, nope, no, nope. no. Well, I save that for later, Mike. I think I just want to use my microphone more because I'm so excited that I, I know got you're over microphone. there like a child on Christmas, a redheaded child, by the way. <laughs> the ginger, the step-headed redhead, um, <laughs> which is the worst, by the way. Step-headed redhead. <laughs> I wonder if those kids still get bullied nowadays. Well, if they didn't or aren't, they should be. They should be. Oh, I'm just kidding. My mother was a redhead. No, I should um, call her up. I should. I, I used to bully her all the time. I want to bully her right now. I, I have a nephew, actually, the only nephew I have uh, who, on, who carries my last name, and he's a, a ginger. Oof, rest in peace. But he's also like seven feet tall, so I wouldn't F with him. You can't do anything to him then. No, <laughs> kick my ass. He'll ruin you. <laughs> Understood, Mike. Well, I'm glad you're doing well out there. You sound happy. You sound uh, good on the mic. I'm glad everything is going well. And of course, oh, I'm not happy. You're not. Oh, okay. No, I'm never happy. You're never. <laughs> yeah, that's. I forgot, right? I'm never happy. You're I'll always mad. You, I get more depressed by the day. You're probably one of the most angriest people I've ever talked to. It, it, that very may well be. Very I think, well, I think let me so. say that again. That that very well may be. That's what I wanted to say. I really do believe you are probably the most angriest white man I've ever talked to. You know, it's not so much angry. I think it's more depression. As you know, the older I get, the more I see of what is declining. I lose. I, I, I use the uh, I use the white very loosely. By the way. As well, you should. Yeah, you're you're not really white. You know, you're black Italian. Indeed. Exactly. Don't get it twisted, folks. <laughs> Mike is very ethnic. He came off the boat. I mean, what else do you want? <laughs> Made a little too much there. You know, Betty O'Dell says Mike. Mike's only happy when it rains. I'll tell you, it's raining now. And it ain't helping. Look at him. And I, and I ain't helping. It ain't helping yeah. me. <laughs> By the way, Cookie in the chat says, can you post all your David D videos? Thank you. Uh, Cookie, uh, yeah. I need to go back and uh, I'll do that just for you. Don't worry. Uh, thanks for listening uh, for all the years, by the way. David Dees was on the program a rather long, long time ago, but that's not what we're going to be talking about here tonight. But thanks for the, the reminder. I'll get on that, though, for you, my friend. Uh, respect. But, Mike, uh, tonight, you know, we're going to take a little different turn here. We're going to be talking about all these uh, sort of toxic women. And right now on the chomping board, there's a there's a, a wild one out there by the name of Elisa Jordana. Come on yeah. down. But yes, Elisa. I mean, this is this is going to be a yeah, clap it up. That's right. We have Elisa to talk about here tonight. We do thank her for getting into a fight with the boyfriend, which was very entertaining for everyone to watch. She going to call in or something? No, I mean, I, I knew someone that was very close to her at one time and there were talks uh, possibly doing that here, but I don't know. Those sort of uh, talks kind of went away, and okay. uh, it it probably would not have worked out the way you you probably would expect. There would have been a, a lot of bad things here, but we like that. that. We like that. That we encourage that sort of thing. Uh, but Mike, yeah, on the chopping block tonight will be Elisa Jordana and Mike. I hope you're ready for this one. I know I uh, told you a little bit earlier what we're going to be discussing here. And, you know, we're going to be talking about a lot of uh, wild things here. And I hope you're able to discuss some things freely here oh, yeah. with all of us here tonight. I'll be discussing uh, some things myself. But, yes, Mike, it's always awesome. It feels good to be back on the platform and doing a live yes. show tonight. It's rather enjoyable. Right. It's rather enjoyable when you're doing a live <clears throat> show. And remember that your phone calls are always welcome here tonight to discuss these issues Men, I want to hear from you tonight if you're out there. 
and have experienced anything like the sort of things we're going to be discussing and uh, looking here at tonight on the screen, remember you, you that, know, Michael, Mike, go ahead, Mike. I, I was going to just interrupt you for a moment. I, I would like to say that we should try to get some women to call in if they're, if they're willing to, to maybe get their, their opinions on this topic, because I would like to see what they have to say. Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel like some women would say, well, he did X, Y, and Z, so uh, I'm that, allowed to hit him or that's her. That's why I want to hear from them. Right. Right. We would like to hear that. Uh, if there are any women out there who have uh, gone on and uh, started hitting their partner, we'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. Indeed. Uh, yes, Calvin, I'm sure you've dated some crazies that got equal lefts. Go. Oh haven't we all i mean that's what happens calvin in the end in certain situations uh, i'm sure that's uh that's gone down a number of times and uh vic says i'd call in if i wasn't a deaf mute <laughs> and yeah we don't like uh Seriously? people yeah we don't we don't really like people that are deaf by the way <laughs> very 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 uh prejudiced they, by the way we don't like deaf they, people they can't be serious is that that can't be serious you think you what? think that's serious that 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 person's a deaf mute no no, I don't probably so. not. No, no, but, but I, it'd be funny I, if they you know, were, though. We got to be fair, Michael. Let's be fair. There are women who have dated some crackpot nutty guys. As no well. shit. Of course. However, I don't this dispute particular, that. This particular subject matter for the show tonight is about women and their being uh, abusive to men. Very abusive to men. But uh, Mikey, that can't be. That sounds like something you made up. How can they be abusive to men? I, I have first hand experience in that. And you don't say when the time comes, <laughs> we can discuss it. Oh my, Mike, these are some dark times. They are. It, these are just so bad, Mike. I, it, 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 it's reached a point of entitlement, Michael, particularly in this country with women. And I say that with respect to any women that are living out there living that are listening out there because i'm not saying every woman's like yeah. that i'm saying a large portion of women in america have become somewhat entitled or feel that they have entitlement needs um um where they you know it's all about women's lib and right. how they can want to live their their life and not be a, a devoted to a man fine that's fine but there 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 are some that take it to a whole other level Right. I mean, just look at OJ for a uh, matter of fact. He just died. Oh, but if you him. if you remember, you remember there are some people that were cheering that on. Some people were saying that bitch got what she deserved. That's right. I remember there was a uh, there was chatter saying things like that. Women were saying that sort of thing. That's and you pretty know disturbing, why? Mike. You know why? Because why were they saying they, that? Well, I, I actually heard a woman today who was one of the witnesses. I'm sorry, one of the jury uh, part of the jury on the OJ Simpson trial. And when they asked her whether or not she felt that calling OJ Simpson innocent, if she felt that was correct, she said yes. And because yeah. they felt that too many black men were being arrested and persecuted and that as a result, uh, yeah, this uh, uh, this was right after Rodney King. Oh, yeah, that's Rodney what was King. going on, by the way, in the country for right. those who forgot. Go ahead, Mike. So they were. So what they were concerned about was that they didn't want riots on their hands in right. L.A. Secondly, they wanted to say that uh, black men shouldn't be arrested for for such crimes, including murder. But I'll tell you, anybody who feels that way, you're an effing asshole. Because that's not how the world works in society. If you kill somebody, go to jail. And how that son of a bitch got off from, from his asshole of, of, a, of a lawyer, Johnny Cockring, that guy— Well, Mike, had, I, mean, I mean, Mike, that bitch was cheating on him. He had to kill her. He had to right, do it. Right, yeah. So that, that, <laughs> that oh, definitely— God allows him the opportunity to do what he did. Now, of course, I'm, I'm kidding. But and, and, and I'm not really because that, that's just a horrible, horrible thing. It's a it's a, hey, man, I've been cheated on. I was devastated when my ex, my girlfriend had cheated on me. But did I kill her? No. Yeah, but you were going to kill her. 
I wasn't going to kill her. You I might have like, felt like you wanted to kill I her, felt but, like I wanted but you to, weren't but I actually going to do it. I mean, you got to be never, insane. Michael. To, yeah, you, I don't do want to ruin my life over some dumb bitch. Donovan said OJ loved those white women. White women. <laughs> Where are the white women at? Where the white women at? Yeah. <laughs> Where they be, Mike? Come on. Where they be? Where they be? Know. Where they be? And Mike, uh, this is always fun. Let's uh, revisit uh, history for a moment before we uh, play the other clips here. Indeed. Yeah. Why the hell not, Mike? Let's. Case number Let's get right into it. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Nicole Brown Simpson, a human being, as charged in count one of the information. Amazing. Superior Court of the State of California, County of Los Angeles. Look at my man, O.J. State of California versus Orenthal James Simpson. We the jury in the American case number BA097. Look at that face there, Mike. Unbelievable. I love that. Her face says it all. Yep. I still hey. remember that being a very, very tiny young man at the time. And all the adults in the room gathered around TVs wanting to see this specific case it's like let, the whole let world you, sort of turned off uh, during that moment but yes that that expression on this uh, woman's face pretty much says it all go ahead mike let me tell you i was in california in la uh d when we did um the uh, uh the american goth fest the first american goth fest empire hideous was on tour in california and we actually had a day off when they were doing the um uh, the when the jury came out and, and and you know did the the non not guilty uh, verdict, and for a while there, like me, I remember sitting there with my guitar player. We were watching the TV and we're like, if they if they say he's guilty, we may have to check out like real soon because there's going to be riots out here. Um, obviously that didn't happen, but yeah, I was in California in L.A. when that happened. Really. Yeah. The verdict, that is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I still recall there was a lots of attention on this. And of course, I was too young to know what the streets were saying during that time. Uh, Mike, what were people saying during that time? Did people, uh, you know, against, you know, not, I mean, against that, the people, the, the common people in the streets, did they, the people that you talked to, did they believe the verdict was an accurate verdict? I'm going to tell you the truth, Michael. Go ahead. And I, and I, We're here I, for the truth. I'm very serious when I say this, so that I don't want to be misconstrued in any racist comments or anything like that. So understand what I'm about to tell you. Oh, boy. When I spoke to the people who are decent, law-abiding people who live by the law. What do you mean those people? I'm getting to it. L let me finish. Hang on. Anybody. Anybody who was a law-abiding person, who was a decent person, all felt the same way as I did. There was too much – there were too many um, indications that OJ was guilty. And it came down to the point that they, re they didn't convict him because they didn't want another riot on their hands. However, when I did speak to a lot of people – when I did speak to people that were uh, ethnic colored, colors of people, like, oh, you know, how dare you? You know, mostly black people. They were saying that they were glad that he didn't get convicted because it had to, according to them, because it had to do with a, uh, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, retaliation right. to, the white, to the white man and to the government. Or, or I should say to the law. Yeah. So and I immediately felt contempt for those people because they were – here they are. It's like cutting your nose off to spite your face. They were, they were letting a killer go because of the color of his skin. And I don't appreciate that one bit. I was I crying that day, by the way. For good or for bad? I was, I was, I was, ha I was so happy for him, Mike. Yeah, I bet you were. I was like, he's innocent. He didn't do nothing. 
Yeah, you can't you can't joke with me on this one because I know who you are. <laughs> I know who you know, are, you son of a I know bitch. How you, I know how you think. I know where you live. <laughs> I know where you live. You I know son where you sleep. <laughs> but no, I'm joking. Of course, I at the time I I didn't even know what the hell was going on. How would I know? How old were you back then? I was like tiny. I was tiny. What were you an infant? I was like a little shit at that time. <laughs> Yeah, I was like really young, but I still remember every single damn adult so invested into in, in this case. And uh, yeah, this is a topic that's been uh, beaten to death. And uh, yeah, where where is Nicole's sister these days? That's true, Cookie. I wonder where the hell is she these days? But yes, yeah, so our friend OJ Simpson no longer around, by the way. And he was in what would be described as a toxic relationship as well, Mike. Nicole was, yeah. you know... Let's be honest, she was uh, throwing it around, if you know what I mean. She got around, that's what I heard. And you know what? I, as bad as that is... But she doesn't deserve to die. No. That's a that's I'm a thing. afraid not. I'm right. afraid not. Well, OJ did. He did it. You know, when they show that footage of him attempting to put on that glove... I, I look at that and I'm like, you got to be kidding, man. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it, it was so obvious that he was stretching his hand out so that the glove didn't fit. It was so obvious. And I always said, you know what? If I were there, I would have made that fucking glove fit on his hand. Just that to prove it. That was wild. Very mm -hmm. wild. I remember watching a video footage of, of later on. Of course, I'm so young at the time, but watching footage later on as an adult. And yeah, that, that, that trial was a joke, of course. Ah, big joke. Totally. But goddamn, were the ratings uh, excellent for that? Oh my god! Right, even even the whole uh, uh, Bronco chase on the on the highway. Ooh, classic stuff there. And the now whole, the whole country stopped. And that. now he's in in a in a white Bronco in the sky, Mike. Thank goodness, because I hated that sob. I couldn't believe it. And the guy stayed in character. And I'm sure maybe some people have. Um, credited uh, to him a bit that he stayed in this uh, character no matter what. He never broke from that character. He was always the actor of sorts. Even after the man murdered someone, he still played that gimmick, Mike, that nice guy sort of, yeah. sort of dude. Yeah, I, I never fell for it. Well, I, of course not. And you know, even after, after the, uh, the trial and the verdict, um, he, I believe he had two incidences in which he went, uh, to jail for, or even, or even then, even with these incidences, uh, Mike, these sort of encounters, he was still able to get the white women yet again. Yeah. Life was good for our, our, our friend OJ. It sure was. Yeah. I, I gotta tell you, if I had been the parents of Nicole, uh, what was her name? Nicole, what? Nicole Brown. Wife, Nicole Brown. Correct. If I if I had been the parents of, of Nicole Brown, and I say this allegedly with the kidding around, uh, I think I would have sought out someone to take care of business, if you if you know what I mean. What do you mean? I, I think I would have found somebody to track down Mr. J and I would have uh, I would have had them uh, 80, 86 them. Mike, I think you just might have uh, committed a felony here. No, no, no. I said I was kidding. Remember? Oh, you were joking. Yeah. Well, Mike, that's a no joking matter. I think smart people can understand <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm yeah, saying I know. Right I know. Now. I get you. <laughs> well, Mike, that's never the answer. I know. I know. But, but you know, when you see something and you experience something that happens that, that upsets you, I mean, your daughter's life is taken from you. Yeah by this man and you get no justice in the fucking justice system injustice system and it it aggravates you and and i'm sure there were people out there that probably would have wanted to kill him it. yeah absolutely I, I have no doubt in my mind oh yeah no of doubt. course of course i'm sure there's plenty of people out there that wanted to hurt oj after that no doubt uh betty says he was a true player for real i don't doubt that at all I think they were both up to no good, basically. But unfortunately, one party got a little out of their minds and uh, killed, murdered. 
a few folks. Who was the, who was the what was his the, the cook? What was his name? Cato. Cato. Is that is that his name? I believe so. You remember the guy I'm talking about, the Cato right. guy, cook? I think he was who said he uh, he came upon the um, uh, the glove or something like that. Cato Kalin. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember his exact involvement. Was he, he was was he a fruit by the way? As in, like gay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he was. He Maybe looks he was. a little, you know. Speaking of gay, he looks kind of gay you, to me. Did you know that AJ? Oh, AJ. Did you know that OJ Simpson's father was a drag queen in, really? in San Francisco? Yeah, and he died of AIDS in 1986. Mod on. Wow, that's true. That's true. I didn't know that, Mike. Yep. Died of AIDS. Yeah. That of the Freddie Mercury AIDS. And he was a drag queen of all things. Yeah. So he got around too. He certainly did. Wow. <laughs> well, Cato Kalin, he seems a little, you know, just Pretty? a tiny bit. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought he was straight as an arrow. No, nah, man. I'm look, look at him. Am I going to have to show you a photo of Cato Kalin here? What's going on? I remember what he looks like. I, I just didn't think he was a $3 bill. Nah, he is. Oh, he be, as they say in the streets. So? Oh, he be, I, Mike. I wonder. Nah. He looks like he likes it. That's all I got to say. Okay, fair enough. He looks like he likes a lot of things, Mike. God, ah! God damn, it's right. Mm-hmm. He looks like he knows his way around the lower region there. But that's for mm. another show, Mike. Enough of this guy. I don't know what you're doing here, Mike. <laughs> Talking about Cato <laughs> Caitlin here. Well, let's not give OJ too much uh, press. No, not at all. He, he don't deserve any of it in my personal No, opinion. I agree. I Goodbye to bad rubbish, Mike. I'm glad he's uh, gone from this uh, universe. Yeah, F him. I never liked the man, so I'm glad we can nope. get rid of him, Mike. We can flush him down the drain. Right down the toilet. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people I wish Good. would go down the drain, too, Mike. You and me both, yeah. yeah there's Good a riddance lot. to bad rubbish, I say. I agree, and we have some more bad rubbish to talk about. We have uh, Elisa Jordana now. Uh, Mike, and if you listened to the Howard Stern show a number of years ago, she was on that show as the girlfriend of Benji, who is a longtime writer of that show. But before any of that, right. before any of that, Mike, she played for like a somewhat popular band called Cobra Starship. And uh, don't tell me, <laughs> don't tell me anything. Don't ask me, in other words, how that music sounds or if I remember it. I don't. I don't remember any of that. But fast forward through time, she was also the girlfriend of our friend and fiance of Andy Dick. You remember Andy Dick? I don't know who's... Yeah, I don't know what's worse, dating Andy Dick or uh, being in a band called Cobra, whatever the hell. Cobra Starship, yeah, they're equally as Cobra awful. Cobra Starship. They're pretty <laughs> bad. What a bad career move. Yes, so <laughs> long-time listeners of this program know of Andy Dick and know how he gets down. Nonetheless, as long as I can remember, Elisa Jordana has always wanted to become famous, Mike. She's been trying... For the longest time. She's been trying for a very, very long time to get famous. And guess what, Mike? She's finally achieved it. Finally. Yeah. After all these years, she's finally famous. And she's gone viral for her charming personality, of course. Of course. She physically assaulted her boyfriend recently. And, of course, all of it was caught on video. And people got to stop self-incriminating themselves on video and telling strangers what they're doing where they're at what who they're banging who they're doing all this shit with people need to stop no first of all no one cares what you ate where you're at no right. one gives a shit by the way i hate to remind all of you out there but no one no one gives a goddamn about any of your bullshit let's be honest no one cares no one cares Yet people still continue to self-incriminate themselves, Mike. It's, it's pretty wild, but that's what the internet does to a lot of these uh, streamers, these people that get online and they do these shows, Mike. They 
film themselves doing bad shit, basically. And I'm all for it. I'm entertained by this sort of behavior. But um, sometimes you, you know, you uh, bite more than you can chew, Mike. This is true. And this is what happened to our friend, uh, Elisa Jordana. My friend. Well, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Hypothetically, she's sort of our friend here tonight. And uh, we'll be discussing this and toxic women and uh, much more. So, of course, sit back and relax and enjoy this dose of the Michael Deacon program, Mike. And uh, everyone else yeah. out there listening. And, Mike, I, I think we should uh, sort of uh, back it up here before we actually play the assault. I think we should sort of give them a little taste of what was going on before before the fight. The, the lead up. What preceded the fatal fight between uh, okay. two parties here. I think that'd be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Why not, why, right? Why not? Why not? Why not? I agree. So, why yeah. Not? All right. So, let's do this, Mike. Uh, are you ready for this one? I am patiently awaiting. Hold on to your butt. This is going to be quite the ride, Mike. I'm holding it. I'm afraid for you. I'm afraid for all of you. Let's do this. I'm afraid if I accidentally see him, I might do something I regret, so I'm gonna not see him anymore. I'm really afraid of myself right now because I don't trust myself. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, he's near the police. Oh, the rap music, yeah. Mike. Sometimes we lag, sometimes we yes, hello? Yeah, I turned it off. What's up? That's Mike's favorite song I, I playing in the background, by the way. <laughs> That's your kind of music, Mike. Yeah. No, no, yeah. This is uh, my stupid boyfriend. He's retarded. I'm sorry. And then he bothered you. <laughs> And He's retarded. Couples therapy. Oh, sorry, let me down. Sorry, so, so we were in couples therapy, and I found out he's been cheating on me for two years. So that's what this is about. There's nothing okay. violent happening. I'm no, getting, but he just wants his phone. So he's getting his phone. his phone. All right, he's getting. Okay, okay, thanks. Have a good one. All right, thank you. How can you talk to a person while they got right. a phone? I, you know, what? talking to themselves. Here it is. Take it. What? You said you were gonna come, but you didn't. Come where? Come on. This poor guy. You were gonna come back to the. For what? To give me my stuff. Oh, there it is. There's your stuff. Thank you. By the way, he's anything but poor. By the way. And now, is this her ex-boyfriend she's no, talking the, about? No, well, you're right. But you gotta, you gotta remember, this is actually the son of like a very wealthy billionaire, and that is the son of a very very wealthy billionaire who actually lives in the Hollywood Hills, Mike. He has a big mansion out here. I get that, Michael. I'm a little bit confused. Though. When she's talking about an ex-boyfriend, she's talking about the guy in the blue shirt, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. But I'm just giving some context. But no, it's not a poor guy by any means. This is a very, very rich individual. Let's uh, continue this. What do you do? I don't care what you do. I do not care what you do. I called Sarah, you fucking bitch. I'm fucking killing you. Sorry, sorry, February sorry. Was when you were with oh my no, god. You, you, you were with you were I, I got you I'm gonna text her my Discord. Okay. I'm gonna text to her. All the same shit you say to me, you say to her. Okay, okay. I, I'm just talking to him. Do you wanna go to jail? Not really, no. Okay. Yeah. No, it's she not should a have. Okay, I'm sorry. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. You should see when you're lucky that your hand didn't hit him because regardless of what he said. Okay, all right, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Get off of that camera. Stuff. Okay, you're not on it. You're not on it. Okay, no, she's so, a police. I'm Listen. Talking. I'm regardless of what had just happened here. If you had hit him right in my presence, regardless if you I'm sorry, I didn't. Be quiet and listen to me. No matter what he said, you would be going to jail. Do you understand? All right, you must not all right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my God, what a bitch. I was asking, can I go grab my stuff? You can grab. That's true, by the way. Um, you see this outfit right here, these uh, pink, these pink shorts. I would yeah. never be caught wearing anything like that. Hell no. Uh, not even with pink shorts with a blue shirt. I mean, this guy is 
total geek. Can you imagine if I was wearing pink shorts uh, down at the beach, Mike? Could you imagine if I ever wore pink shorts anywhere on Earth? I would love to see that, actually. <laughs> I, we now, need to get a photo on. of Mike in uh, pink shorts. <laughs> Before you go any further, just based on the actions that you just saw. Pink shorts, with, by the way. With what this a, woman. You know what? With this woman. Oy vey. I mean, you can tell right off the bat she's a self-entitled capital C. She's a cunt. Exactly. She's a capital C. See you next Tuesday. That's right. Uh, she's a big cunt, really, in my opinion, a mentally uh, like, ill cunt, like this, for that this matter. This guy recoiled as she came at him because he's been hit by her before. That's the, a good observation, Mike. That's another thing I was going to tell you. This is a man who's been physically hit by this woman a number of times. And again, even though he looks innocent, he definitely, he, he's innocent, all right, but I don't, know, know how he, he's, I don't know how he you know, did it for so long. Well, he's also not all there from what I can tell. He seems a <laughs> you, little he seems a little nuts too. You are right. You are right at that. I mean, anyone who wants to get themselves involved this deep with someone yeah. like that, you, you know, that says a lot about you. If you have not cut, cut right. ties with someone who is mentally ill, exactly. Like this person we're seeing then it says a lot about you. Let's put it that right. way. I, I mean, the the guy should have cut ties with her long, long time ago. But so I'm just trying to understand. They they obviously had an issue. I think it was settled in either in the courthouse or in the police station. So when the cop asked, when the lady cop asked Elisa or Elise, Elisa, right? Elisa, Elisa? right? Elisa. When she asked yeah. her for the keys and whatever else she was supposed to give to the guy. Why did Elise even go and start talking to him? I thought they were like on, on odds or at odds with each other. I mean, this seems like one of those relationship dynamics where both parties are going back and forth with each other and acting a fool out in public. Now, you see this all the time, Mike. But yeah, we see this guy here who is donating large amounts of money. It was reported he had donated at least $1 million or $2 million to our friend Elisa, by the way. So, yeah, that's what I was saying. No, no this is no poor guy that we're, we're, we're talking about here. This is someone who uh, has been donating uh, large amounts of money. $2 million. And uh, I guess he got caught. $2 million. I guess he got caught with a younger 20-year-old uh, woman, by the way. And that set off our 40-year-old friend Elisa... She did not like okay. that. So anytime, you know, you're talking okay. to a woman, she finds out about the other girl. And if she's younger, oh, OK, I, I understand a little bit more now. Yes, based so on she's, what you just she's a little angry. There's some anger going on. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I could see that. But two two wrongs don't make a right. Of course not. You know, obviously, she sh he shouldn't have uh, been doing what he's doing, but Let's be honest, Mike, these kind of women, the ones that hang out online and do the streams and all this shit, the ones that want all this attention, Mike, you got to be honest. There is these kind of women are talking to multiple men, just hey, like hey. this guy's talking to multiple women as well. You I mean, that's about honesty. I mean, that, but that's the, honesty? but that's the truth. I mean, all these women, they're talking to all kinds of uh, different, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you don't want to talk about honesty. Take a look at that guy. And tell me how he got that chick, Elise. Elisa. Well, he has a very attractive wallet, Mike. What's wrong with that? Uh, and that's my point. Brother. Yeah. That's my point. Because and Mike, that guy, uh, well, Mike, you have to also understand that Elisa has been wanting to be famous. So, you know, she kind of jumps she'll on. she do anything. Yeah. For, for the fame and for the money. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead. Yeah, she's a gold digger. There you but go. The fact, the fact that this guy's got tail on the side. When she, I'm not going to, you know, deny this. She's a pretty woman. She's a beautiful woman. No doubt but about it. But she's mentally ill. She's mentally insane. I'm not going to deny that one bit, but I am going to give, you know, the truth is the But truth. that goes she's away a, quickly, though, that whole hot thing. I that, understand. That goes, I'm, that goes down the drain after a couple minutes being around someone like that. She seems insufferable. <laughs> I mean, right. she's, she's a good looking girl, sure. But again, sure. that only lasts for so long. You're right, but but let me just finish my point. Is just to know that this guy's a, a player. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Mike. He has a hot it's wallet. Hilarious. That exactly. he has a That's sexy my wallet. Point. He can dress like he's from 
the the the, the small yellow bus, but at the same time he's got <laughs> ch- chicks that are coming up to him. And you told me that he donated two million dollars to Elisa. Correct. Oh my God! No and to the she was and, staying with him. And to the other bra too, the hot twenty year old. I'm gonna date this guy. <laughs> I know we're gonna have to start dating him. Mike is gonna go Damn. gay again. I, I I could go for like a million dollars. Hey, a million dollars is a million dollars. Hey, my turn gay again. <laughs> that is hilarious. Son of a bitch, man. <laughs> Here we go. What a world we live in, right? What a oh my world. Oh, God. Oh, my, 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 my. 13-inch wallet, says Dr. Detroit. Very sexy wallet, for that matter. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, he can I, grab I, his I, stuff I, and he can go home. That's what he can do. Okay. I have his stuff. I can take him to his stuff. And he can okay, go. take his stuff and take your anger down a notch because you you had hit him in my presence. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the bad uh, well, topic. Well, I, think I should now, talk about it. No, I, I said I, I'm going to stop talking Nice about shoes. That. Okay, good. Yeah. Because that's ridiculous. Okay. And I hope your channel caught that, that bad. Okay. Oh. Perception of you. That's not very nice. Okay. No, it's not okay. Are you, you ever been cheated on? I'm gonna go play tennis in those shoes, Mike. I'm not, I'm not I doubt getting it. into yeah. my business. Okay, all right, well, I'm just telling you that's my business. I, I really don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh I'm my God, I, I'd love to smack this bitch right upside her head. I called she her, just, I spoke to her. She just keeps talking. Boring, of no, I saw all your texts. I saw all your texts. Oh, shove that phone right up her ass. She's a JW, by the way. She could be a Martian for all I care. Anybody who acts like that deserves what they get. Well, you'll see the rest. Here we go. And yes, they're in Florida for those who were curious. If you couldn't tell already. Where vabbing is all the rage. Yeah, where docking is all the rage. Is that what they call that when you got a, a camera? No, that's what they call when uh, two penises, uh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, Ooh. that's docking. Could, they, could this person park any closer to that car? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn. <laughs> she's, she's, uh, she's basically an Asian driver. <laughs> so... Wait a minute. They're going to get into the same car together? I yes. They were How like, dumb. What's that about? That is just not uh, the smartest thing to do. I don't get that. <laughs> I know, right? I would never get into a vehicle with uh, a broad like that. But, I mean, didn't they just have to go through a whole thing yes. at the police station or the court? So, what's the... Didn't she say, didn't go to court. that's they were my just... ex-boyfriend? I, I didn't hear that part. I don't think uh, she said ex-boyfriend. So, all right. I'm a, one thing I'm confused. You're about always is confused, why, Mike. It's okay. Why were they? Why were they at the courthouse or the? Police they they station? were they were at like a mall or something, not a courthouse. Oh, okay. I I, I could have swore, maybe I heard it wrong, but I thought at the beginning of the video she said, "I'm with my ex boyfriend. I'm go, I'm going. I just had a deal with my ex boyfriend. Maybe I heard it wrong. I'm sorry. Whatever. Either go way, on. these people are psychotic. Let's roll the footage. Let, Go on. If it plays, oh, there we go. There we go. Mike, I just want to say, what a mistake this was, by the way. What a dumbass. They should have just... not entered that vehicle, by the way. Uh, man, I, I have to um, warn you. When you get into a conflict like this, don't ever get inside of the vehicle of a woman or a man. By the way, just uh, walk away from that situation. That's the best you can do in that scenario. Let's keep playing this, Mike.
she can't get enough looking at herself. I know, right? Look at that. But, but she, like her whole day revolves around her. With a tongue out, video. Yeah, making weird yeah. faces. And just making videos about it. Well, she's got like what, two cell phones, two fucking cell phones. I believe that clip now is over, Mike. So we'll holy shit switch over to um, the worst um, part of all this sort of thing. But yes, big mistake. Get into that car, by the way. Big, she, she, big she mistake. She can't stop looking at herself. That is right. She can't stop looking at herself. And uh, yes, after this video, uh, this next one I'm going to show you. This is the one that went uh, super viral, and everyone and their mother saw it. Yeah, uh, Mike, this is going to pick up a bit here. It's going to be a good time. But this yes, this is the one you showed me. Correct. So now day. they're driving. They're, they've been driving around and uh, things pick up. This is where business picks up, as they say. And boy, does it ever, Mike. <laughs> it really picks up. Let's, I'm sure it does. <laughs> let's let the fireworks um, play out. Hi, Sarah. Oh, by the way, this is uh, Sarah, the uh, 20-year-old Mexican that uh, Elisa Jordana keeps mentioning here. The the hot 20-year-old Mexican that this uh, gentleman in the blue, the baby blue with the hat. God, uh, he he looks awful, by the way. That, that whole face right there just looks terrible, Mike. So but you're telling me that she called, she just... yeah, she called uh, Sarah, the, the hot girl. The girl who the the guy in the blue was cheating on her with? Correct. What? So what not is... only so not only did she call her, she shares all her information, the nude photos, the what account. What is going on? Why? Bitch is crazy. I'll fucking tell you. And he just he's just sitting there with like letting it happen. Bitches be crazy. Get out of that fucking car, man. So this is a trashy, toxic behavior, by the way, that we're seeing. So women, when women start acting like this, that's when you need to dump that bitch, Mike. You think? Absolutely. You don't Absolutely. Wait until she hits you in the head with a shovel? No. <laughs> no, 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 Mike. Let's let Son this. Of a... Michael, can I just say, goddamn. Ah, no! Thank you, sir. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Sarah. Hi. 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 You know, different sentences that he... Sarah, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. What the don't fuck? Talk. fuck? Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah, we're really sorry about this. I'm sending him your way today. Uh, so, don't worry. Um, but, yeah, so... Yeah, he's coming. Don't worry, he's coming home. Uh, Elisa, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Fuck you, cunt. Um, Next time you fucking touch me, I'll fucking dick you. You understand? <laughs> you understand, cunt? Hey, um, no, Sarah, hang up. These idiots. She posted your fucking number in her cancer Discord, and I was just being polite. Uh, yeah, touch me, and I fucking dick your dumbass bitch. I'll fucking dick you. Test me. Elisa, yes. Um, as a woman, the dumb cut Sarah, the dumb retard in the middle of the stream session. Can you please she, give she, me the number from the chat? She, she, no, she's a, she's a fucking insane person. She's a, she's a fucking I would stop talking about. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In I'm the middle of the street okay. dancing. Yes, yeah, Sarah, I heard you had a kid when you were 16. That's what he told me about you. Yeah, she had and he a said kid. you're a dumb Mexican. I said she's a dumb Mexican. And he said you, you keep showing up. And he says you won't stop texting him. But I saw the text. It's the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's up? She's half your age. Can you She's half your age. Delete the number, please. Ah! Ah! Pull over, dumb cunt. Pull over, dumb cunt. Oh, ow, 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 what's going on? Please, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Yes. Okay, I'll stop. Pull over. Okay, I'll stop. Pull over, dumb okay, cunt. Please, please, please. Ah! Oh, stop. Oh, call 911, Sarah. Call 911. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please, please. I'm sorry. Call 911. You out. fucking please, bitch. Oh, please, I'm so sorry. Please, oh, you're sorry, right? Get the fuck okay, out. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Are you killing 
me. You're killing me. Good. Good. Kick her out. Little snot nosed brat. My, oh my god. god. Help me, help me. You're killing me. It's pretty wild. Pretty wild. Things get uh, pretty wild in Florida, Mike. Evidently. Good. She deserved god. every bit of what she got. Wow. Wow, Mike. You know what? I, that was oh, pretty God. wild. So, so aggravating. The fact that she cracked him in the face while she's driving, while she's looking at herself in the fucking camera, having two cell phones. I mean, the, the, the mentality of this broad is pathetic. The thing is, she's live streaming herself on YouTube, yeah. by the way. That's yeah. why she has two phones. Uh, she's looking at the chat while the other one is on her and uh, yeah, that's what she basically does. You know, she's a, a live streamer. Yeah, tells you a lot about a person. And uh, this is sort of uh, what goes on uh, during her show. You see how red his nose was after Correct. she hit him? Oh, I saw that. We're going to play that one more time. Let's do that again. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Oh, oh, Hi. shit. Hi. Hi. You know, different sentences that he... Sarah, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Holy shit, Mike. Look at her. Oh, I'm sorry about this. Title little conceited oh. bitch. Oh my god, bro. Sarah, I'm sorry about this. Oh my goodness. It gets crazier every time. Sarah, I'm sorry about this. You know, Mike, a little bit higher and she would have broken that nose. Yeah. Just a tiny bit higher and that nose would have been gone. And it doesn't take much to break a nose. You no, know that. No, not at all. Not a lot of force. That's why I said just yeah. a little bit higher and that thing would have been a nice clean break but yeah. holy shit mike uh people like uh, betty o'donnell odell and and uh the other side i'm sorry and uh vic chola guara they're talking about shark feeding and gator feeding that would have been a perfect opportunity take her out in a boat far into the ocean feed her to the gators throw some chum out in uh, out in the uh in the water <laughs> get some great white sharks good lord <laughs> Yes, get Throw rid of her in the water. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I think that's eventually what would happen to a woman like this if she lived out there and uh, the right kind of guy, if you know what I mean, the right kind of guy, was... they would have uh, taken her out to sea. That's right. Could you imagine if she was dating some like gang banger or something, rap artist? God, it would have been over by now. She it would have ended missing. a lot worse than that. But again, Mike. This is crazy. This is something that should be talked about more. And I don't mean to completely offend some of the ladies out there who end up listening no. to this, but this is another demographic of women out there who are scumbags. And yeah, this is, it, it, this is, you're seeing a great example of a woman who is a scumbag. They'll go to great heights to try to justify their outrageous behavior, Mike. That's right. And they'll try to justify why they're talking to 20 different people, have 20 different emails. Um, right. I've seen this game by both men and women, and it's way, way too common. But holy shit, this is an actual scumbag. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty outrageous. For every minute you played this video, and I watched <laughs> wow. it, as she watched herself, like she couldn't get enough of herself. And it blows my mind how a person, and I'm not going to say just a woman, a person, man, female, male, female, whatever, Anybody who can who cannot take their eyes off themselves for an extended period of time has seriously got a mental issue. Like if you if you walking with a woman or a man who cannot walk past a window outside that reflects their image without them looking at themselves or a mirror without looking at what I mean, that just show you shows you the mentality of a person like that. Totally egotistical, totally self-centered, total narcissist. Different sentences that he. Sarah, I'm sorry about this. Don't talk. Don't I don't know if I would have reacted that way. If I would have just, uh, you know, just shelled up that way. I got to hand it to him. He's got more patience than I do. I agree. You got to acknowledge that they were both in the wrong here. Nothing that happened should result in physical violence. You think just he was uh, wrong? Just because he cheated 
And again, Mike, I'm telling you, she's she's doing a lot of other things on the side with other guys. You I know mean, it. No shit. I mean, that's just the way these people work. But again, it should never have come down to physical violence. You, she should have never hit him like that. And as a result, that is exactly why she was arrested. And I fully understand that he was cheating. And of course, that isn't a really pleasant feeling. However, you don't go and uh, usually attack someone like that. That's not that's not cool. <laughs> and again, he knew this going in, and I highly doubt that she can say she wasn't doing the exact same thing that he was doing. So the hypocrisy is what amuses me the most. But Indeed. yes, now back on point, you see, she nearly broke the guy's nose. And again, if it was just an inch higher, definitely she would have broken that goddamn nose. And as you said she earlier, Mike... Not much force to rearrange someone's nose. Easily, especially with a slap like that, straight forward, like upward towards the bone, like bang, easily, Word. Bro broken nose. If she and, hit and me and broke my nose, I would have to do everything in my power to restrain myself from doing something I'm sure I'd regret. You're goddamn right. And you know, she's such a hypocritical liar. She stood in front of that cop talking right. about how she wasn't going to do that and everything. Right. Couldn't stop interrupting the cop because she's got to hear herself talk and see herself on camera. But she gets in the car with the guy and immediately starts hitting him. I mean, this girl, <laughs> she needs to be smacked with a board. She's lucky that it didn't. Uh, I, again, I credit the guy for not striking her back and only pulling her hair and restraining Absolutely. her. She should consider herself really lucky that. She Indeed. didn't get her ass whooped, by the way. Indeed. In a moving I, car, I by the way. In a moving car, ladies and gentlemen. While she's driving. Dude, that is that is crazy. And again, he's no saint, but he had a pass to drop that bitch with a right hook. That's right. And he would have and, and, and you know what, Mike? He would not have got arrested or in any trouble for defending himself at all. So this bitch could. got lucky, I'm telling you. I, I cannot repeat enough that the fact that she's driving a car, looking at her cell phone, looking at the one that's got video on it, and beating this guy. I mean, this is a dangerous person. Not only to really the guy dangerous. in the car, but dangerous to the people on the <laughs> yeah, road. Yeah, dude, think about it. A moving goddamn car, and you're fighting with your girlfriend. Can you even imagine? Uh, men out there, women out there, imagine driving with your husband, boyfriend, and you guys are hitting each other at the wheel. In a moving goddamn car in the in the highway, by the way. I've had that happen. Dude. Yeah, dude is right. Come on. I know. Get it together. I know. Yep. Good lord. And as I said on on uh, on the show, probably uh, different scenarios matter. And if a woman has a weapon in her hand, that's kind of a green light for combat. You know, you're you're more than. I think I think you're more than free to actually hurt that person if they're trying to go at you with a knife or something like. Mm. Yeah, I don't care if you're a man, a woman, or a tranny. I'm throwing for the fences, Mike. You better believe it. And, and look how quick her attitude changed once he grabbed her by the hair. Oh, you're killing me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh that's, that sorry. was my favorite part of all of it. Yeah. Are you killing me? No! <laughs> That's a great I, sound I, drop, by the way. If, if I may add, Are you killing I, me? No! I was involved with a woman who would do the same thing. She'd hit me, and then if I went to like scare her by you know raising my hand, I would have never hit her. But every time I did that, it was like, oh my god, don't she would she would quiver and she would like you know cower back, and 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 like you know this look in her right. eye, like I was like I was beating her and I never touched her. She she would literally fall on the ground. Really. Like I, like she'd hit me like one time she threw an entire full bottle of like one, you know, one of those uh, Poland spring, big one liter bottles of Holy water. Holy shit, Mike. She threw the, I was outside doing my thing yeah. and she threw this whole bottle of water at me and it hit me. Where so at I, though? In your face? I was outside, or... like, it, it hit my, 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 uh, like the upper part of my leg. Oh, so oh, okay. I, I ran up to her. She was on, um, she was on my porch. Are you killing me? No! I ran up to her and she she fell down by herself. She hit the floor because she thought I was going to hit her. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> wow. I jumped up there and I'm pointing at him like, you fucking bitch. I'm like, how dare you 
do something like that, not only on my porch, but in my neighborhood for my neighbors to see. So I'm pointing, she, she's cowering like, oh, don't hit me, don't hit me. I'm like, what are, what are you, are you fucking retarded? And she was. And yeah, and she was in the end. By the way, would, had she uh, been hit in the past by someone? You know what? Honestly, Michael. Maybe that's what it is. No, 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 no. She claimed every guy before me beat her. Well, now you know why. (laughs) I would have beat her ass too. She's lucky I didn't swing at her because if I had, (laughs) I would have knocked out every one of her teeth. Oh, that's so funny. You're killing me! my, my, My parents taught me, my father taught me the right way how to be respectful towards women exactly and if they yeah. if they hit you you can only take so much and right. i and i was at a point where after she, that other psycho bitch clocked me in the face a number of times with her fist yeah see that's a whole nother scenario that's, that's why i say yeah. uh, these things really change depending yeah. on the scenario if, if you're getting physically assaulted and she's hitting you repeatedly and you're trying to walk away and get away from it and this uh, woman is still at it you're more than in your power to defend yourself, in my opinion. That's right. So if you got to lay a bitch out, then you got to. Yep. Yeah. There's only so much you can take, and eventually it becomes, a, 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 you're actually protecting yourself. At that point, yes, you must protect yourself against a man or a woman or a tranny. You got to <laughs> do it. But yeah, we again, we got to applaud him. Yeah. He didn't hit her. He just had a he just had to pull a bitch's hair. That's all. Yep, and it pulled and it got her to stop. It got her to stop. So mission complete, and we got gold out of it. I mean, look at that. You're killing me. No! That's perfect, in my opinion. <laughs> so we do thank you, Elisa, for uh, the program here. You provided us good content. I mean, this is a this yes. is great. This is an Thank inside you, look to skanky bitch. This is an inside look f- for all of uh, mental illness that you can find online. <laughs> Great bri- a byproduct of it. Which all starts out with complete and total narcissism and conceitedness. And I got to tell you, Mike, the only time in my life where I've had to avoid someone from hitting me that was like a, a woman. That was like way back in high school. And that was the only time. The woman? ex. The ex, yeah, the ex girlfriend at the time tried to slap me for dumping her of all things, <laughs> and this bitch she really tried hard to slap me during passing periods. You know when all the kids are going to the next class and everyone's walking around. She of course missed me because I had good head movement at the time and I still do. And but I walked away from that situation, and that's that's something you know, Mike. That's sometimes the best thing to do. Did Overall, you say I walk you give, away. You give good head movement. No, I said I have good head movement. <laughs> It was a joke. I was joking. But yeah, that was, that was a good one, though. That one flew <laughs> over my head for a second. I'm like, no, head movement when I... But yeah, that's a, that's another good one. I'm going to have to keep that one in mind. I'm going to have to steal that one from you, Mike. Well, you know what? I figured you'd say something like that to me, so yeah. I had to give it back to you. <laughs> that's good. Now you're learning. And Bad Dog says, spoiled brats. You're 100% right. I agree. Right. Absolutely. That's exactly what she is. This Absolutely. is a woman who was never told no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Type of, type of woman who, you know, w- when she asks you something that you cannot provide or don't do not want to be a part of, and she says, Give me, give me, give me, you say no, she doesn't hear it, and she just keeps going on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give why not? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give why not? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give smack. And uh, that's what happened, Mike. There was a smack, all right. You know, different sentences that he Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Don't fucking talk. Uh, yes, sir. We're really sorry about this and sending him your way today. Uh, so oh. don't worry. Um, but yeah, so yeah, he's coming. Don't worry, he's coming home. Uh, Elisa. She's just like all those broke $20. She's gonna get a No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Fuck you, cut. Um, Next time, fuck you, you cut. Me on fucking dick. You understand? Ooh. Um, you understand, cunt? Hey. There. No, Sarah, hang up. He probably should have at this point, she puts Mike. In your fucking number in her cancer discord. Which is illegal, by the way. Uh, yeah, touch me and I fucking deck your dumbass bitch. I'll fucking deck you. Alisa. Yes. 
Um, as a woman, the I dumb cunt Sarah, the dumb retard in the middle of the stream said she, she, she can't understand the chat. She, she, no, she's a, she's a fucking insane person. She's a, she's a fucking I would stop talking about oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, in the I'm middle 15. of the street okay. dancing. Yeah. Gross, yeah, Sarah, Mike. I heard you had a kid when you were 16. That's what he told me about you. Yeah, and he said you're a dumb Mexican. I said she's a dumb Mexican. And he said you keep showing up. And he says you won't stop texting him. But I saw the text. It's the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Look, look how she's driving. Actually, she pulled while he's trying to move the car. Look at that. But ain't moving. Look at that. Okay, I'll stop. Pull over. Okay, Pull over, dumb cunt. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. No, call 911, Sarah. Call 911. Good God, Mike. Hey, he took her glasses off for her. Good. That was a nice. Yeah, still looking at the camera. Still looking <laughs> right, at the right, yeah. damn camera. Okay, Look, she can't me. stop. <laughs> he's killing me. He's, he's killing me, but do I look good on camera? He fish hooked her. Oh, shit, the car was moving a little bit there, Mike. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Kick her out, man. Kick her out, brother. Ooh. Fucking bitch. Look, if she walks away, she didn't get hurt. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, she, now she stops this guy. He was beating me. He was beating me. Ooh, Mike. Son of a bitch. Good times, Mike. What a little good times. Let the good times roll. She deserved every bit. It's hard to say she didn't at that point. She got exactly what she deserved. Ain't that great, Mike? It is. Good justice, in my opinion. Yeah, he did the right thing. He had to restrain a bitch. He literally had to. He literally had to. But there's another video that, uh, prior to this one, they say this was a happier times when, you know, he's on the camera as well on her show that, they were that she, you know, does almost every day. And uh, these were better times and they start fighting as well, Mike. And you get a little inside view of uh, this gentleman, by the way. And he is pretty wild, too. Um, it still doesn't really excuse anything, by the way. Just because he said these things doesn't mean he wasn't in the right to do what he did. But this is another video of our friend here. And okay. uh, this time... Uh, this time, he doesn't look too good in this video either. And uh, the last video, of course, it was doesn't look good either on camera. Pulling anyone's hair, getting physical, will never make you look good, for that yeah. matter, obviously. E even if you're on the right, it still doesn't look good. But there's a reason why this bitch got arrested, Mike. But, um, yes, let's play yeah. that other video for everyone here. This is Happier Times, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck you, bums. Oh, okay. shit. Fuck you, bums. He came in hot. Any uh, one wants to call up. Love this guy. shut the fuck up. Let me answer that. Yeah. Okay, and fine. you literally, all of you, uh, add up your cumulative wealth uh, and intelligence, idiots, and think to yourself. I ask this all the time. You ever been top 10 in anything in your dumb lives? Minus 10 with 16 zeros. Oh, no shit. So you think you're not impressive? I have news for you. You're not impressive. Okay. I'm impressive. Okay. I have news for you. You're not impressive. Okay. I'm impressive. Okay. I'm impressive. Okay. I'm 10 with 16 zeros. Okay. What are you? Not that. Right. What are you? Not that. Right. No. So, yeah. Anybody else? Anybody who okay. wears let earrings like on. that you want is an idiot. Yeah, yeah, let me point out how they're like worthless bums. Every single one of them. Ash, uh, is your mom sucking dick to make rent this month? <laughs> oh, Who's my God. <laughs> All right. Okay, idiots. Yes, my level right. of fun, level of fun is something I tell you. I, I'm saying I wasn't having fun. You understand? I wasn't. Like, you fucking idiots. Okay. So maybe Are you going to tell me if I was having fun, or I'm going to tell you if I was having fun? This is, she does this because you're equally as dumb as her, right? She needs the reinforcement <laughs> of her dumb ideas, so she comes to the cancer people who, don't, who are crap people. They don't want her doing better. He ain't they want to drag her back down. He ain't so they go like, yeah, just sabotage everything. And you're like, is he talking person, about right? Elisa? Like, her listeners. You, you don't oh, understand oh. why you do this? 
I think I might You have be a like lot upgrade. of dumb ideas, and, and you have 200 people or whatever that tell you, yeah, Not you're 329 right. people. Whatever, they'll tell you you're right. And, 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 and cumulatively, they literally couldn't qualify to clean my toilet here. Okay, so, um, <laughs> hi, Gonzo. Gonzo. Gonzo, shut the fuck up. Gonzo, shut the fuck up. How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you make rent? Gonzo, Gonzo, how do you make rent? How do you make rent? How do you make rent? Gonzo, sh By the way, let me just point this out. He's in Los Angeles downtown in a very luxurious uh, apartment, by the way. Okay. And, right. and, and that so he, he's, would... he's like dunking on uh, these, these people that watch Elisa here, her listeners. Aside from herself, he's not um, wrong though. He's not wrong. It, it, is is when he said that number ten plus sixteen zeros was he referring to the amount of money that he has? Correct. So ten sixteen zeros, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. That that's impossible. That's like in the trillions. He's got a lot more money than you, Mike. Let's put it that way. Yeah, but that's in the trillions, dude. That, he's balling, player. He's balling. That day. <laughs> Do I? No, no, no. Gonzo, hey, bum, who can't get over this chick that I fucking he, he, uh, oh. packing a jizz and sending home in Uber pool. <laughs> Damn. Who's on my dick, Gonzo? Oh, Am shit. Am I looking your shit up or are you looking me up? Okay. Oh, so shit. Wow, Mike. Dude. I like him. He came in hot. He's going all crazy. She cannot stop looking at herself. No, of course not. She really not. can't. No, She's obsessed not. with herself. That's right. If you look up the word narcissist, her picture should be right next to it. These two are very charming, aren't they, Mike? Oh, my God. They imagine, are both very, very charming. Imagine going to Christmas dinner with them. Oh, I would just uh, love that. Uh, both of these wonderful people, Mike. Wackos. These people <laughs> are insane. Toxic. Let's do another one here. My <laughs> entire chat was laughing at me, you fucking retard, huh? who says I'm the biggest, best asset that she has. And as soon as I'm asleep, you fucking dumb cunt, I've asked you ten fucking times not <laughs> to introduce cancer in my life. You go, oh, you're such a menace. Menace to what, asshole? Do I need extra, like, shit to deal with, dumb cunt? You yeah. Go, oh, you don't like him because he's in Florida. No, asshole. He's, the, he's a fucking cancer person who constantly lied about me. And yeah, it is so nice. That's someone who wants to fuck you, but you're too fucking, like, histrionic and too much of a fucking e-whore. Not to say, hey, man, I don't want to fuck you. I don't care about your attention, right? So you still take calls when you say, I'm asleep. Fucking Pete laugh, chat is laughing at me. And he goes, yeah, I'm going to drive by, uh, you know, get your number. And go, well, yeah, what is the joke exactly? And it's not like I fucking told you not to fucking do it ten fucking times. You understand that fucking song means nothing to me, right? You fucking disrespected me ten fucking times over your fucking cancer shit when you, on a daily basis you tell me I'm fucking right. Uh, cut it out, dumbass. And, and the, you embarrass me in public, you gotta suck my fucking dick in public, bitch. Right. <laughs> properly, or, or I told you, Amen. Fucking, like, putting up with this shit, dumbass. What is this? I don't need it. Keep your cancer to yourself. Uh, you, you Who's the guy in the car? Bullshit, Another one of these uh, random the men that uh, she hangs around with uh, nonstop. What a slut. That's what these women do, I'm telling you. The ones that are always online and uh, streaming themselves. You know, they're talking to all kinds of people. Uh, but, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. But, yeah, uh, th these are just prior incidents where we're showing uh, you people of, of these charming personalities that we've come across <laughs> online. I mean, yeah, that's... Vic, Vic, Vic Chola, says it all. Vic Chola Gor Goria, whatever... Uh, says all that money and no sense. C e n t s. <laughs> That's right. My well my put. my. Well put. Well, Mike, I, I think you get the crooks of the matter here. I think we and, discuss I, these personalities to death now. I think we're can I, can pretty much moving comment? on from uh, these folks. Yeah, but go ahead. One more comment that by Mike uh, Hob Hob Hockbins. Mike Honcho. Hon yeah. He says the crazy ones always screw better. Um, and you know why that is, <laughs> Vic? You know why that is? Because that's all they have. They do it so that they can, whoever they're with, whatever love affair they're having, they try to do that so that they can lure that person. And in this case, we're talking about a woman to a man. They will use that as, as hook and bait or bait and hook, however it goes. 
I, I've been involved in that, so I know exactly what you're talking about. And you're right. 99% of the time, that's the case. They have no morals, so the the sex becomes their their primary source in, in, in a way that they can use it to attract men. It, it, sleeping with another guy is like a handshake for them. It's a great handshake then, right? <laughs> it's a firm handshake you got there. I guess we're going to have sex now. <laughs> oh, uh, good times. No offense to any women out there who don't act like this slut. Okay? I'm offended. Okay, but you know it's just certain women and guys, for that matter, who just are—they're—they're they're not right. They're not—they—they probably weren't brought up right. Now, None of these people are least, right, Mike. Let's right. be honest. Um, both of them seem um, pretty crazy. Do we know anything about Elisa's background? Does she have like a, a parents? Well, her parents up? are pretty screwed up, by the way. I mean, the dad are from they really? from what I remember about the father, and it's interesting you say that he was like a a strange sort of dude that is also like an internet personality of sorts. And oh, I had read go. something that he was like almost a, I, I you know I don't know if this is true, but online they were saying that he's a pedophile allegedly. Get out. I'm telling you, there's been lots of uh, strange accusations of him molesting really? Elisa. No, that's another thing. When the girls get either, uh, you know, uh, sexually abused. From what by... I could tell, from what I could tell, and knowing what I know now and reading this before and now going back to it later, I would have to assume that the old man probably did touch her like uh, Joe Biden did to, uh, you know, that other girl, yeah, actually. His daughter. Well, Actually, like I was going to like I was going to say, allegedly, uh, uh, allegedly, a lot of times when uh, in this case, in particularly when a woman, a girl is sexually abused by a male, an older male, in, in this case, maybe a, a, a relative, an uncle, a father, brother, whatever. When that happens, 90 percent of them end up either hooking, stripping, dancing or, you know, whatever in the sex business in order to get money and and you know what it is it's an abandonment issue. that's crazy the they hooking like the drugging right they they get they feel like they're gonna get abandoned yeah. by whoever that is that they're involved with so what do they do they fuck like prostitutes that's true they get attached it's a sad thing i'm sorry to say they all get attached like that not all of them, but the ones that are screwed up in the head. It's crazy. It is. It's a mental illness. That's why I was one hell of a clip, Michael. That was amazing, right? Hell yeah. And that's My why mom. you know this uh, bitch, why she went uh, viral after this that's kind right. of uh, behavior. N now, does every did we let everybody know that she got, no! she, she got arrested? She got arrested. She got what she deserved. She got arrested after that. That's right. Which makes me even more happy. Isn't that great? I mean, this is like a victory for men for once. I mean, this is, we're at a time now, we're in, uh, I guess, the peak era of cancel culture, uh, sort of. But I think this is all going down. I think we need to get rid of a cancel culture, Mike. I think it's a thing of the past, in my <laughs> opinion. I think this is, a, you know, this was always a bad time for men to defend themselves and to defend uh, other men. It was almost like a bad thing to do. But all that is over. That is gone, Mike. All that shit is down the drain. Are you killing me? No! Love that. <laughs> That's our a classic. New, our new clip. Our new. Our new uh, sample. Sound right. Bite. Are you killing me? No! <laughs> oh, I love that. Good segue. Are you killing me? No! <laughs> oh, they, they mesh so well together. They do. Perfect oh, segue. Brilliant. One heck of a show, buddy. That was uh, pretty amazing, Mike. And I was looking for the mug shot, by the way, to show you. Because we do have a mug shot that we have not shared yet. Oh, I'm dying to see that. Does she have her camera in front of her face so she can look at herself? Well, she definitely has a camera on her, that's for sure. <laughs> a lot of them now. A lot of cameras on her now. But that again, this is what she's been wanting since the, the early days of the early 2010s. Yep. 
and She's such of uh, being on the Howard Stern show and still nothing, nothing ever came of that uh, appearance on the Howard Stern show. Nothing ever happened. Well, you know that. why she was on. The only reason she's on is because she's a, a pretty girl with big knockers. Well, she was and, dating uh, the, the writer at one time. Uh, not only that, but yeah, let's face it. If she wasn't a looker, she probably wouldn't have been on that show. Not at all. You, you know that Stern has girls on because he likes to look at them. Well, of course. Of course, of course, Mike, of course. And of course, it, it helps that she's also Jewish, Mike. Mm-hmm. She's got that going for herself. I mean, I'm sure it helped to get on the show. It's okay, Mike. You don't have to agree with me. Don't be scared. I'm not. <laughs> don't be scared think, now. Don't be scared. It's I, I okay. I think ultimately it, 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 you know, somebody mentioned here, where was it? Uh, Vic Chola again writes that she's not a typical child of sexual abuse because she's too narcissistic. That's very, very accurate. That's very accurate. Accurate. That's very accurate. It almost yep. seemed like you um, had a bit of a seizure there, Mike. Da, 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 da. You might have, but we do have the monk shot now, by the way. <laughs> I have found it for you guys. And I'm willing to uh, show you here, but. Five dollars says she puckered or pursed her lips in her mug shot, says bad dog. <laughs> And he's partially correct. Yep, I bet. She's no, famous he's now. he's not wrong. Yeah, now she's famous, by the way, but for all the wrong reasons. And isn't that great? Yep. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. I mean, what more could you ask for, Mike? Maybe a punch in the face. <laughs> a punch in the face. <laughs> she deserves that, too. Maybe a Two by four to the back of the head. But here's the mugshot, Mike, if you're oh, in the chat. Look at there. Bada bing, bada boom. Pretty eyes, no? Very pretty eyes. She's not an ugly Jew broad. <laughs> but that She's voice and that, that behavior is just... The it, behavior. It cancels all of it, though. You're absolutely correct. It really does, Mike. It you really does. You the prettiest does. girl in the world, and if you're a total idiot... You're not pretty in my book. No, that sort of allure, that that illusion, that goes away so quickly, Mike. It goes out the window. You're right. Wow. Ugly on the inside. Absolutely. That's right. Rotten on the inside. She don't look happy. <laughs> Hell <laughs> so no. That, that's got to be embarrassing. I mean, look yeah. how look how she acted in like, I, most of the world. Especially if she's I've in, seen this this footage. If she's in some sort of a container, a jail container, in, in which she's got other bad girls around them, yeah. who are going to end up kicking her ass just because she thinks she's a badass cunt, and she's not. Well, I I you believe she's see badass. You see badass <laughs> in jail. That's where you see badass. Well, that those days are over, Mike. I'm sure she is going to think twice now about this sort of uh, behavior. Mm-hmm. I hope I, you know what. Unless she I, gets I beat again, I I I gotta disagree with you. I don't think she'll lose a damn thing about her attitude. You think she's just gonna continue with bad behavior? Absolutely. Do we have any idea how long she was locked up for, or is still I don't think I don't think she, no, she's not locked up anymore. But I don't think it lasted too long. Yeah, I, I don't think she learned a lesson. Yeah, I don't think so either, Mike. To be honest, I, I think uh, un, un, unless she was yeah. abused in the jail cell to make her think I never want to go back here, I, I don't think she learned a goddamn thing. That is pretty wild, my friend. But yes, if you look up her name, uh, you'll see that uh, she went a uh, pretty viral, my friend. Pretty viral for all the wrong reasons, and that's how the cookie crumbled. Mike, and I'm glad that this happened, by the way. It's, it's, a, it's a victory for men, by the way. The fact that he is uh, roaming free. He didn't get in trouble for what he rightfully should have done, in my opinion. I agree. Are you killing me? No! No! <laughs> that seemed like such a fake sort of scream, too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you saw when she got out of that vehicle... 
She started walking back, and you could see she wasn't hurt. This she is what she to, wanted, Mike. She, exactly. She tried to pull that. You know why? Because she probably wants to sue him for money, what he's worth. Right. Well, she, she ain't going to win. Vehicle, she, she approached that white van that, that was coming from behind. She approached that like she was going to say, hey, my, my boyfriend's beating me up. He's abusing me. That's what she was doing, in my opinion. Or, I love or it. attempting. I love it, Mike. What a what a what a world we're living in. <laughs> really? Oh my goodness, Mike. I, I can't get out of my head how she could not stop looking at herself. Oh well, of course not, Mike. Everything's gotta be online for everybody to know. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a flying fuck about your pathetic life? I love it, Mike. This was great. I had a, a great time discussing uh, this segment here with you, Mike. Uh, I think it was uh, hilarious. We learned a lot here, Mike. We learned about all sorts of things here tonight. We did. That was a good topic, my friend. I know, and it's not over just yet either. The show's not over just yet. I hope you're happy about uh, that, Mike, that the show's not over just <laughs> I'm yet. I'm ecstatic. I am ecstatic. Yeah, we're not done just yet, but here's a, another photograph of her in her earlier years before she got cheated on. Better times, this is when she was uh, cozying up to Benji wow. of the Howard Stern uh, fame program. A wow. long-time writer, but yes, this is our friend Elisa. And, of course, she also uh, posed nude for Playboy a long time ago oh, under another name, by the way. Why, why wouldn't she? I mean, come on. She's got those uh, big Jewish knockers, by the way. And she's got some real nice curves. But you know what? Again, it all no goes difference. away quickly, though. All goes away. Uh -huh. I wonder how long that relationship lasts between the two of them. Not too long, I'm sure. I don't, Ten I don't, minutes. Pretty much, and uh, you know, everyone on the show was annoyed uh, by um, both parties over this sort of thing, because she, you know, he kept trying to promote her band, her her whatever, her show, whatever she was doing at the time, and and her music tell, rather. What did she do in the band? Tell me. She's probably the the singer, right? Keyboard player at, at the the, oh. the Cobra Starship one before this. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But yeah, when she was when she was on the show, she was promoting her own music when she was a singer. And Mike, let me tell you, her singing is uh, an abortion. <laughs> She's terrible at singing. No Did, talent at all. Surprise. No musical talent whatsoever. <laughs> and you know what? The funny thing is, thing is, it probably <laughs> wouldn't make a goddamn difference to any record producer. Oh, you're hot. Let's get you on. You know, I don't care if you're completely off uh, key and out of tune. None of it worked out in the end for her, though. Nope. But hey, she got her ass beat on video, and that got her famous. <laughs> the and I'm world sure she's going around telling is everybody is that it was it was his fault. Oh yeah, well of course it was his fault. Absolutely. There's nothing worse than a toxic relationship, especially when it when it becomes physical, and that goes for men, men and, and women. women. Absolutely. It's just terrible. It's not know? worth I, it, my friends. It's not worth no. it. I've been there, and I, 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 I hate it. It should not be a place for anyone, Mike. In my opinion, you know, Michael, back in the day, yeah, when I, when I was doing good in my life, when you were a good band, boy, when no, when I, when I wasn't a good boy, I was, I was going to say when I was when my band was doing good, and I was living on top of the world. Oh shit! Okay, if if a girl came into my life. And everything was going smooth. Let's just say everything was going smooth for about like a month. And then an argument would take place. I'd break up with her immediately. Smart. I, I could not. I thought that if, if we're going to argue about what, you know, whether or not we're going to get pepperoni on the pizza or mm. not, I, I, I'm done. Yeah, I'm, that, I there's no point. There's no point. And I did that for so many girls that I had dated. I just would not deal with it. Dr. Detroit says she's out of my price range. <laughs> she's a pretty pricey Jew, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's pretty expensive, folks. Absolutely. But again, in the end, it didn't work out. None of it ever does. Oh. Oh, so. 
Oh. He's killing me. <laughs> wow. Well, we got to thank her for that, though. Mm hmm. That's right, Mike. That is right. And, Mike, uh, another important piece of the pie here was a solar eclipse that you yourself actually got to see in real time. Um, definitely tell us a little bit about that. And we have a photograph of the solar eclipse, a photograph that you yourself actually photographed. And Indeed. Uh, look at that thing. Now, what you're looking at is the, the, the totality of the eclipse. However, uh, there were clouds that were blocking it, and I'm very upset about it. I, I tried to plan this for four years. I tried to plan this. Can you bring it close like you had again? It's kind of crunched up. Yeah, uh, let's see. Like well, you let's had fit it. it a screen really quickly here. Just so we can see that, but yeah, let's make it even bigger. All right, so what I'm trying to say here is that you got a lot of clouds going over in front of the, the, the actual event. Right. However, if you look around the sun, you can see the corona. The corona is the, um, I, I, I forget the technical term. It's like the, what the sun puts out as energy. If you look to the lower, the lower part of the, the, the moon and to the left, you can see what's called a sunburst and, uh, or a solar flare. That's and right. Basically that, that image right there, that's a probably about 10 earths that could fit in that, that little tiny explosion. That's how big that solar flare is right there. <laughs> Now, just so you know, as I was saying, I, I planned, I tried to plan this out over the last four years. I tried to do whatever I could. I made sure I had the right equipment. Wow. I made sure that I was ready to travel anywhere. I, I didn't know you were this kind of nerd, Mike. Well, this is, this was, this was important to me because it, it was, a, it would have been the first time and it was the first time that I ever experienced the totality of a solar eclipse. I've seen one, two, two prior to this, but never a totality. Um, so I go, I, uh, me and two other photographer friends, yeah. we drive out to Watertown, New York state, which is right near, I think, uh, Lake Michigan, one of the great lakes, um, near, uh, near the border of, uh, Ohio and Pennsylvania as well. Um, sort of, sort of, not quite, but sort of. Anyway, we go out there because the weather report had indicated that there weren't going to be any clouds at mm. all. Two weeks earlier, I was ready to buy a plane ticket to go to Texas and photograph. I was literally going to fly down, take the pictures after the totality, go back to the airport and fly home. But that's pretty much what everybody else in the entire country was going to do as well. So I had to put that notion aside when one of my photographer friends had given me the information. He's like, hey, listen, Watertown's going to be clear. Mm. No rain, no clouds. Let's go there. It'll save us a lot. It only yeah. took us three, three and a half hours to get there. OK, I drove three and a half hours to get there. We get there at about 1130 a.m. I set up my equipment. I got two cameras, two top-notch cameras with one with a 600 millimeter lens, the other one with a 400 milli millimeter lens. Then I had another little camera that I was going to try to get like surrounding. And, uh, my, and Mike, these were the expensive cameras you were telling me about. Yes. Oh, yeah, shit. Can Canon 5D Mark IV. Uh, with, as I said, uh, the two lenses were Sigma lenses, 600 and 400 millimeters. Um, Mike is a I mean, serious I nerd, by the way. Yes. When it comes to uh, this here, photography so, of sorts. That's right. I'm, I'm especially like this, a celestial event like this. This was a really, big it's, deal it's an important me. one. It was absolutely. And Mike, they say animals may behave differently during a solar eclipse. And they well, say they, they exhibit unusual behaviors during a solar eclipse. And, you know, solar eclipses have been a part of uh, myths and legends throughout history and That's I've right. always found them pretty interesting myself, to be honest. But 
I've never been one to sort of, you know, like really get into it as hardcore as most people were. But I don't know if you saw the footage on the news. Uh, I don't know if it was like ABC or where it was. If it was, it was NASA actually. And uh, these people were, they were cheering. They were jumping. I mean, oh, that's just silly. I mean, I don't, I don't get that. I mean, I, it's beautiful well, and everything, but to be jumping up and down yeah. and acting like if I won the lottery, that's, that's all. Yeah, that's a little now, too crazy for me. If I may, go ahead, Mike. The one thing that we avoided there, there was some sort of a big festival going on in Watertown. They had bands playing, and it was yeah, like that's a big open cool. park. Yeah, there was thousands of people there. Nice. We didn't go there. We didn't go. Oh, you didn't go. No, you I should didn't have. Want to be a part of it. No, there are fucking bands playing. There was just chaos, and you just said it. You just like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to like people clapping. That's just retarded. That is a little so, much. Okay, okay. I'm glad you're we, not one of those people that would be no. jumping up and down and like acting. Me, me, and acting like other, a like acting like an idiot. In other words, no. is basically what I'm saying. You just fucking smile and follow me. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh. I actually went with Professor Z, who is my my uh, my producer on on my show. Um, so, and we went with another guy who's a photographer. It's a guy named Colin, old friend of mine. So, we found a place, a, a baseball field, that was completely empty. Nobody was there. So that's where we went. Um, and what I was going to tell you is that in the middle of the baseball field was a group of about maybe oh I don't know maybe a hundred seagulls. Ah. Uh. So just before complete totality, mm -hmm. even though there was a little speck of light, a sliver of light that was coming through from the sun, it still provided enough daylight. But as soon as it was gone, Michael, the seagulls went crazy. Ooh. They began flying in a circle and they're, burr, 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 burr. they're yeah. all screaming and yelling. And it was absolutely amazing i think it affects people as well mike these solar eclipses uh, a lot of people act insane and i saw a yeah. lot of uh bad shit crazy behavior too during this time yeah yeah it um yeah it was crazy but but to tell you that uh, just to, to finish up basically at, at about two o'clock the clouds started to roll in and I really started to get upset because I knew I wasn't going to get, get the shot. Yeah. That clear, mm -hmm. crisp, crisp picture. So, well, I mean, this is a pretty good photo in itself though, Mike, thank to your you, credit. Thank you. I like I it. I try, I tried to do the best I could yeah. with what I had to work with. I had to reset my cameras. Uh, I had to take the, the, um, the filters off and, and all within a four mirror, a four minute period. Uh, right. reset the cameras and I'm now mind you, I'm working two cameras at the same time. I'm going back and forth, back and forth. I get the images that I got. Nevertheless, I was very disappointed, but again, what you're looking at is, is clouds over the sun and moon, but the white part is more or less the Corona. Ah, yes. Of, of, Correct. of the sun. Right. But what I really dig is that, that solar flare at the bottom. I know. I was oh. looking at that right now, as you said that, that, like I said, that's about, if you took three earths, maybe more, that's how many earths would fit in that little dot. That's pretty wild, right? Isn't that crazy? So after space we got done, is, uh, space is crazy, Mike. Oh my God. It's hard to believe how infinite it is and, and how vast um, but anyway, after we got done with, you know, as soon as we got done, uh, it happened at 325 in the afternoon. We stuck around for about almost an hour as I broke stuff down and kicked rocks and threw things because I was so pissed off, packed everything up. We jumped in my car, started heading back. Michael, it took me almost eight hours to get home. There was traffic. Eight hours. Eight hours. It took me three and a half to get there. We left at seven in the morning. We got there at about 1130. Oof. Right? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah. That's quite the drive, man. Yeah. Well, we wanted to get there earlier because we, we were told that a town of 25,000 people, they were expecting 200,000 oh, people. Oh, my Lord. Now, whether or not that many people showed up in Watertown, I don't know, because we weren't where the festival was going on. We were completely alone. There must have been maybe eight other people on the entire baseball field. 
Nobody bothered us. It was great. I still can't believe you went that long, though. You mean driving? Yeah, driving that long. Oh, let me tell you, man. I was cursing the whole way That's home. That's a serious was, drive, man. It wasn't too bad getting there, but we didn't expect that many that bad of a ride home. It was bumper to bumper, literally, from when we got on Route 81 all the way from New York State Dude. all the way down into, like, Scranton. That's too much, man. I know. Why'd I was, you do I was that? I losing it. What else can I do? Well, not go. <laughs> Michael, like I said, I had been planning this for four years. Goodness gracious, Mike. And was it worth it in the end? Truly. That's a very, very good question. Was it worth Just, it, Mike? When I look at this picture, I say to myself, at least I got something. I got other pictures that I haven't finished editing yet, but at least I got something. And that's, yes, it, it was worth it. Wow. The, the, yeah, wow. The, 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 like Nikita said, the determination is real. Thank you. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, that even deserves uh, one of these. You're killing me! No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the drive. You're killing me! That's, that's my reaction to the drive, Mike. He's killing me. <laughs> that's what I would have said. Oh, my goodness, Mike. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. That's all that truly matters. Uh, it was partially worth it, I guess you can say. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's the way you said it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you sound like a, you know, like one of those tiny hat people. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank Hi, you. thank you. That was sound all nasally, you know, like Sarah Silverman. I don't know why. It that horse like face. That. Maybe I need a drink. Hold on. I know you sound like you need a little whiskey in your life, Mike. Oh, my dad says man. hello, by the way. The last time hey. I talked to him. He's like, Father, uh, don't he's like, Father don't Deacon. pick he's like, don't pick on Mike. Nice. And I told him this. <laughs> I, I told him this right here, Mike. That's what I told him. That's what I said on the phone to my old, my own father. That's pretty twisted, bro. And then he stopped talking to me. <laughs> Did he smack you? I haven't heard him. I haven't heard from him since. Oh, I, love I don't know why. He's, he's an awesome man. He's a good man. He's a good man. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't say that. Of course not. Father Deacon. Yeah, he'll hear he'll hear this, which is kind of scary uh, if you think about it. At least it is for me, Mike. <laughs> it's a little worrisome. <sighs> it's a little intimidating. What can I say? I'll bet. Yeah, I don't like it. Especially because he could pull out his billy club. And he's not. Him. He's not allowed to listen to this program, though. I know. I could imagine. <laughs> I tell him, I'm like, this is too adult for you. <laughs> this is too real. You're is not gonna. He, you're not gonna hear this. Conservative. At, you're not gonna hear this at Walmart. Is what I'm telling him. <laughs> yeah. Is he very conservative? He he's conservative, all right. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he's. How, he's how about your mom? She's more. You know, she's more liberal of sorts. Not not like liberal uh, from what you would like. What like you crackpot? Yeah, he. She's not one of these people. In other words, she's more independent than liberal of sorts. Good. Uh, good that's, to a, hear. that's a whole nother sort of definition these days. Yeah, I mean, you could be liberal, but when you're like woke liberal, it defeats the. Purpose. It's a whole different kind of liberal. I mean, she's not Gene Simmons, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and here he is. Look at look at that face. I got to show you Gene Simmons again. Oh, is I think what is this from? Do you? Is this like an interview? I think this might have been from an interview uh, a while back, but I hate his hair. Look I at that it. fake hair, though. That looks like it, a wig. It does. Like it's just so like do something with. This it, looks like you know? uh, this looks like the same wig Howard Stern has almost. <laughs> oh, it's like they go to the same guy. I don't know, man. That that's pretty. They're bad both Jewish. Sense. They both know each other. Howard Stern's looks okay. This he's got like a see, perm. I gotta tell you. <laughs> I don't think this is a wig because he's been wearing his hair like this for like since the 70s. So this is real hair, you think? That's real hair. If anything, maybe there's some dye because uh, that looks pretty black. Oh, dude. it's definitely dyed. That's no dyed. Doubt. Come on. That's dyed. Yeah, I know it is. 
But what I look at is this it's it's like this frizzy hair and it's like hair sprayed down. Yeah, I could see that now. You could even see the hairspray right there, um, right in the the forehead area. That I think hair that's line. gray hair. I think that's gray hair, no? No, that's not the gray hair. He dyed that thing so black for those that are <laughs> listening to the audio and not seeing the image of Gene Simmons before your eyes right now, like most of us are here. Live on YouTube, which most of you out there on the podcast version, you should uh, come and hang out with us. We're going to be trying this uh, new time slot this uh, Friday with uh, Mike. That's another thing I wanted to talk to you about, Mike. I was thinking we should uh, just do live shows on Friday, just me and you. We will have to talk about this off air. Yeah, we're going to have to work something out. You know, I might have to... You know, a few things might have to fall off a truck, and uh, maybe we uh, could come to an agreement, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we'll talk about it after the show, if you want. All right, no problem. I, I like to talk about this on the air at times, though. But yes, we could go uh, keep it uh, separate here. But yes, look at that face, though, Mike. Look at that Jufro, like Betty uh, O'Dell said. He's got to be, like, pushing 80. He's, he's got to be pushing 80. He's pretty damn old to be having that sort of jet black hair, Mike. Come on. Oh, I know that. Look at that hair. But but what I'm trying to say is that when I all right, I was a <laughs> kosher kid fan. hair, gang of four. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When when I was a kid and I first started getting into Kiss, which was in the 70s, um, he was already like in his 40s. Yeah, he was already kind of uh, getting a little old there. So he's got to be slightly like close, to like almost 80. <laughs> 80 with jet black hair. Look at that. Yeah, that's obviously. Oh, no, He's that's a... his natural hair color, Mike. He was born with jet black hair right out of the womb. Yeah, yeah well, you know, when you get to be his age, it's going to turn gray and it's going to get lighter. There's I got a no few. I got that. some white whiskers right here on my chin, Mike, that uh, I'm not dying. I think it makes me look like a man. <laughs> Welcome to the club. It makes me look like a goddamn man. I'm not going to dye that white. The, the white whiskers I have earned, I think that is a... That's that's a sign of a true warrior, Mike, in my opinion. That's right. I agree with myself. I got my first gray hairs in 2000 when my girlfriend Vicky broke up with me. And uh, I had I, I used to have this little strip of hair, facial hair going from my lip down my chin, just a strip, you know, it's a badge and of I, honor, in my opinion. I had three gray hairs, and I used to say to everybody, "Yeah, that's I got them from my girlfriend." My yeah, ex she caused it. She certainly she did. She probably did. And and Gang of Four hits us with a Gene is seventy four years young. Son of a gun! And they just finished doing their concerts like what a, a year ago. Do they not stop? In, uh, no, they're done now. He, he's retired. He has to. He can't keep going. He well, look at going. that face, Mike. Exactly. You know, loving Kiss as much as I did in the early years. Do you Once love they... this guy right here, though? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that hair. Look, it's... this is probably the ugliest man I've ever seen in my life. It's the hair that makes him terribly weird. If I was gay, I would not go gay for Gene Simmons. Let me just I mean, put that out there. For the record. Should, for the record. back or something, you know? This is really bad, by the way. When I was a Kiss fan, man, when, when, and and growing up, did you not did I, you not uh, hear me when I said that? By the way, there was like no reaction you. from you. I heard you. I'm like I would not go gay for him. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I heard you. The, the 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 proper response would have been, you shouldn't go gay for anyone, Mike. <laughs> well, hey, twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, he has he has more than a billion, Mike. You could um, become his boyfriend. Yeah, I don't think he would. Uh... He's very. He won't very donate hard. to you that way. <laughs> no, he's a he's he's a difficult person. I've met him before. You're killing me! No! I met him in a club in New York City called the uh, Mercury Lounge. The Mercury Lounge. He's an yeah. asshole, from what I heard, like a really he good a, one. Um, I'll, I'll tell you real quick. I walked up to him because I had a I had a set interview to interview him and Paul Stanley from from Kiss. Uh, in about two weeks, when I this is when I was working at the Aquarian Weekly in, in New Jersey, the, the newspaper. So I see him standing in the back of the club because I was there to see the same band he was there to see, which was the Nuns, who 
was a great punk band from San Francisco. The lead singer and I were having a thing together, okay? Gene Simmons happened to have had sexual relations with the same girl. Oy vey. Which was why he was there in the first place. So I walk up to him. <clears throat> He's with his bodyguard. And I walk up to him like, hey, I said, how you doing? My name is Mike. I said, I'm, I've been a big fan since I was a kid. I, I just wanted to say hello and shake your hand and say it's nice to meet you. And uh, that was it. I shook his hand. And as I'm talking to him, I was like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm interviewing you and Paul in like two weeks for the newspaper. And he's like, oh, I know the newspaper. Yeah. When we first started out, they used to do write ups on us. Anyway, as I continue talking with him, which was only maybe about three minutes, the band we had come to see, the nuns, had already gotten off stage. And the lead singer, Jennifer, this tall bombshell of a blonde, walks over and says hello to Gene. She Where the white him. women at? Where the white women at? So she walks over to him and I, and as soon as he sees her, that was the end of our conversation. It was over. He simply started talking to her and uh, completely ignored me. You were done now, at that point, yeah. Now, now, while we were there, there was another band that went on. Gene eventually went out out the main uh out of the main room yeah. you know, the con the concert room and he went by the bar all right which was a separate room now while we're watching the other band this other guy from from a band that i knew uh called the brick bats which was like a death rock band they used to play with us all the time with empire hideous so i walk up to him he was a huge kiss fan i mean bigger than me so I walk up to Like Paul. he would have like blown him, in other words. He would have blown him. I, I wow. walked up to Paul. Just I said, <laughs> I said to Paul, listen, man, first of all, Paul's blind as a bat. He didn't have his glasses on. He couldn't see three feet in front of him. I said to him, Paul, you're not going to believe this, but Gene Simmons is by the bar. You should go over and talk to him. I know what a big fan you are. He's like, no fucking way. I'm like, yep, go check it out. He walks away. I'm standing there watching the band play. Not two minutes later, maybe three, he walks back over to me and he goes, Gene Simmons is a dick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He said, I was standing there talking to him and a girl walked over and he basically just turned his back on me and started talking to the girl. Sounds about so right. Yeah. I'm like, yep, that's him. That sounds like that sounds like him. Yeah, he's, he's mm. a complete obnoxious jerk. He's a very sleazy kind of guy. You could just tell. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that was. face. All his life. It's did in the ever, face. It's all in the face. Did you, you ever see the, the episode of when he was on Oprah Winfrey and he talked about how he took Polaroids of every girl that he slept with? So he had like this container of like three or 5,000 pictures Damn. of all these girls that he slept with. Can you imagine? No. <sighs> Dude, I couldn't even balance two girls in my life, let alone 3,000. <laughs> That's pretty disgusting, though. Imagine that. I have no idea why you would want to put that out there. Well, you know, he, he kissed Kind of seems a, a little a little shady by doing that. They were always talking about sex with, you know, kids. Well, we I mean, understand like, that, but how many of them even they wrote knew? about was about sex. Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. But well, how many of those women actually knew what he was doing? Oh, I'm sure all of them did. Who knows? Who knows? Well, that's that's just uh, those are just rumors I've heard in the past. But you know, rumors. I don't know for sure. I wasn't there. Did you see the episode where uh, what's his girlfriend's his wife's name? Shannon. But I didn't have to be on the Titanic to know that it sunk, though either. <laughs> what's his What's his girl his wife's name? Shannon Tweed. Shannon. Something? Some shit like that. Yeah. Well. They were on. They were together on a talk show with that 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 Yenta bitch from the view. <laughs> the uh, Yenta, uh, uh, Joy, um, the the Behar. the one who talks like that. Yeah, Joy right. Behar. And they're doing an interview with her. Right. And she she brings up the subject about why Jean never married her, and they they literally got into this argument argument, and Shannon got up and walked out. Since mm. then. He had to get married to her. <laughs> had to get married to her. Yeah, she said, no more fooling around. That's it. Time to settle down. It only took him 76 years. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. Allegedly.
Well, I don't like him. I think he is very gross. He looks like a Q-tip right now. <laughs> that was drenched. He looks like a Q-tip that was drenched in um, that black shoe shine shit. You shine your black shine boots with shit. it. Yeah. Say that three times faster. They shoe put, shine they put shit. shoe shine in my hair. Say it three times faster. Shoe I shine can't shit. even say that. That's too damn fast. <laughs> but goddamn. Look at that goddamn mug, though. I can't get over how ugly. Can you can you this slide old the Jew over? looks like? Can you slide the picture so we can see his wife next to him? You can. You can only see her. But I'll I'll ah. get one. But I'm I'm just I'm just amazed at how ugly this man is. He's always been like that, though. He really has. I know. That's a, why he wore makeup. He's a creep. Yeah, he's a creepy man. That's why he had to paint his face white. <laughs> so, because look at this, man. Dude. Can you imagine when they kiss lost the makeup the first time? I, I'm sure the record producers were saying, no, that this is a big mistake. No one wants to see <laughs> that, that Jew face. In, in 19... In nine, I believe it was 1977 or six. Right. The Inquirer magazine, the the tabloid magazine, the Inquirer. By the way, shout out to uh, all the Jewish listeners out there. By the way, they love when uh, we say these things. By the way, <laughs> they love the show. It's it's the most amazing thing. Go ahead, Mike. In uh, in 1976, I believe it was the Inquirer tabloid magazine released. Um, a photograph of the band without makeup. Ooh, from a, how gross. From a, yeah, from a 1973 Nightmares. Nightmares. 73 or 74 picture. I, I had it up until the, the time I sold all my Kiss stuff uh, about five years ago. Um, but yeah, they looked just as ugly then as they do now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, look at that, man. Can you imagine waking up to this face as a woman? No. Ooh. As a gay, as a straight, as a, as an animal, you just this thing is not pleasant. <laughs> this is not a good-looking guy. He's uh That's life for you. But you know what, Mike? Got, that wallet it, it, is very attractive. Though. I was just about to say. There you go. Man is rich very rich so him and paul stanley are yeah. rich but he's even more rich because he capitalized on the whole kiss marketing thing right. everything uh who, who was the who was the guy that got shot from that band um dime, dime bag um um you mean pantera not, pan was it pant yeah pantera the guy Correct. who got shot what was his name dime bag dime bag daryl daryl when dime bag got when he got gunned buried, down in that club, yeah. When he was buried, We're he was buried. buried in a kiss coffin. Oh my God, are you serious? No joke. No way. I mean, that I kind of have to lose a lot of respect for that guy right now if you're telling me the truth. He really went through that. He actually got buried in a kiss casket. If he did. Yeah. Whew. Kiss sells everything from condoms. I, I know that I understand that, but if you would actually do that, I, I think I, I don't really think too highly of you now. I mean, if you have a Pantera casket, give me a break, Mike. Well, I don't think it makes. I'm gonna kiss a coffin. I mean, the, either the way, that dead. is awful. Yeah, the guy's dead. It doesn't make. Yeah, a he's difference dead. Now. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's killing me. No! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> he's killing me just by staring at him. Oh, I might I might need to get buried in a kiss coffin. <laughs> Betty says kiss coffin very classy yeah yeah well that was it was dime bag hey, it's, a, it's a different time I'm a retard no I'm just I don't know when dime bag was shot what year um but I mean I think it was like more than 10 or 15 years ago but um obviously big kiss fan well Mike if I die I just want you to bury me in a Leonard Skinner ca uh, casket oh lord no I'd rather be buried in a kiss casket <laughs> I'm a Southern I'm, man, I Mike. I can't stand. I can't stand Leonard Skinner. <laughs> Leonard, hey, come on. I can't stand the band. I oh, I'm sick of that song. Sweet home Alabama. I mean, they had better songs than that. Let's be honest. Come on. Ugh, like what? Oh, come on. Simple man. 
Oh my! That I mean, that's a decent <laughs> song, but I mean, these are songs you you know you got to be intoxicated to enjoy. Yeah, well, I've never been that drunk. Like before uh, you know, life. like a Pink Floyd, <laughs> you know, the Beatles. You have to be kind of out there. Oh come on now, Floyd! Floyd is good. That's a beauty. Yeah, why? Well, I, I no well, argument for me. As a matter me. of fact. You remember a couple a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, when you we did the show. Well, Mike, yeah, opened, we opened it with that song. I was going to say you opened it up with uh, with one of the songs that was actually a cover band, right? Covering a Pink Floyd song. Do you know from that show, I immediately pulled out my Pink Floyd records and started listening to them really because I love that band. They were we influ- great. Yeah, you were influenced and inspired to uh, bring out the record. Hang on one second, my my cat just knocked over something. Oh God! He's killing me. No! He is killing me. Sorry about that. Zeppelin is overrated. I agree oh, with you Zeppelin on that one. Zeppelin was good. I don't know about all that. I mean, yes, they were overrated, but you cannot deny the fact that they another were Another band, band, though. Another band you got to be kind of slightly intoxicated to really fully enjoy yourself. And Betty says, Wu-Tang, casket for me all day. Shout out to uh, Betty keeping it real out there. We love that yes betty i'm a i'm a cat lady yes yeah mike is a cat woman and a, and a bird woman too uh, yes a, a bird man a cat cat man uh, you name it he's everything he <laughs> had once donated large sums of money to PETA. as actually 32 different um animal sanctuaries animal rescue uh um, organizations and rehabilitation. Mike companies. loves animals. He's yeah doing what he can, and we love him for it. Uh, Mike, this has been a true honor and pleasure to share the air with you, my friend. I, I had a great time. We laughed. We cried. We brought the house down. And uh, thanks to Elisa for getting her ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, she brought us gold. You're killing me. No! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Good times, Mike. It was a, it was a good time here. I'm so glad I haven't done a show with you in a couple I know of it's weeks. been a long time. Yeah. So Mike, uh, go ahead and uh, plug away. Tell us what you got and I will cut you loose here in a moment. All right, buddy. Listen, after the show, call me at home. I'll call you and um, maybe I'll be behind your window tonight. Richard Ramirez style. Breathe heavily. I'm going to be looking anyway. in. <laughs> uh, all right. So where the hell am I? Uh, I'm saying goodbye, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, thank you, Michael, for having me on tonight as your co-host. As always, I had a great time. Thank you, listeners, both live and uh, in the uh, replay of this uh, podcast or whatever you want to call it. Thank you very much for listening. I had a great time tonight. If you're interested, um, go to MikeHideous.com. Check out my new um, my new shirts that are out, my new T-shirt designs for horrible artwork. Uh, as well as all my uh, past catalog for music, and um, also uh, get an opportunity to check out my my new radio internet radio show called Finding the Truth with Mike Hideous. Uh, you can get it on YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, and any Apple podcasts. And if you want, you can go right to mikehideous.com on the first page. You can click on it. Uh, we're up to about episode eleven, I think. And uh, we weren't able to do episodes the last couple weeks, uh, last two weeks, because of the whole trip to um, New York State to do the, the eclipse photographs. Anyway, uh, much thanks to everybody for. I listening was in uh, Nova Scotia to see the eclipse. I, you know, I thought about going there too. I was in Nova Scotia for those who didn't know. You weren't really though, were you? No, of course not. Okay. Just In my sure. mind, I was. Because if you were, I would have beat your ass for not telling me because I would have went up to meet you. Oh, well, I'm in Canada. <laughs> Imagine that. Go ahead, Mike. Um, All right, play guys. Thanks. Thanks very much. Yeah, MikeHideous.com. You can get my book, uh, King of an Empire to the Shoes of a Misfit, as well as all my uh, past uh, musical catalog with um, Empire Hideous and even Spy Society 99. Thanks very much, folks. I sincerely appreciate it, and I love doing the show. Thanks, Michael. Take care, my friend. Stay black. Yeah, call me when you're done, all right, You buddy? got it. All right, ciao. Bye-bye.
And there he goes, boys and girls. That was uh, Mike signing off there, saying goodbye to all of you via Skype. We, we Skyped him in here. And uh, yes, this was a good time. We had all kinds of uh, technical difficulties. We did uh, blah, blah, blah. Difficulties. I'm having uh, difficulties uh, talking here to you. That's how badly we were earlier. At least how bad I was here earlier with the mixer and all this bad shit happened here. I don't know what happened. Things were way out of sync. But now we've fixed everything and all is good. Bad Dog says, cool, just subbed. Yes, finding the truth with Mike Hideous. Definitely go out there and uh, listen to Mike. And uh, yeah, don't forget, if you want bonus content here on the program, not found anywhere else, go to patreon.com forward slash Michael Deacon. Yes, that's where you can find bonus content. Yes, words are hard when you're drinking whiskey. Absolutely. Absolutely. And of course, when you're running the board and looking at all these uh, colors here, it makes things a little bit harder to do. Yes, but thank you, all of you out there. Those of you who hung out with me here in the chat, hung out with me and Mike, special thanks to all of you. And of course, those of you on the podcast, definitely join us sometime. We would like that. I would like that. I, I think everyone out there would like that too. If we saw you in here at times, and yes, we're going to be trying to make some date uh, cemented here in, in time for all of you guys. So you guys know when the show is going to be live. I know most of you don't really know. But of course, if you go to michaeldeacon.com and sign up for the newsletter, you'll more or less know when we'll go live. And yes, I'm looking forward to the next one myself, Betty. It's been a great honor and pleasure to do the program for all of you. And uh, yes, the music is playing. I guess that means it's time to really wrap it up this time. Once again, boys and girls, always a honor and pleasure to do the program for you. And we'll return back live again rather soon. Yes, thank you. It was a great time. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, life is a mysterious sort of a thing. Very mysterious, folks. Very mysterious. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I don't even feel like getting off now. I feel like telling you a little bit about a dream I had before I sign off. I don't know what was going on uh, in my life. Last night, everything seemed, uh, you know, everything seemed honky-dory. In my life here, everything's fine, everything's normal, but I had this crazy dream and I wasn't watching a horror movie or anything last night, by the way. I was, everything was uh, nice. Everything was perfect. But I had this really crazy dream where I was chopping heads off of zombies for some reason. And my friends and family were in there and we were barricaded in a home. And I'm literally chopping people to bits. It was the craziest dream I've ever had. It was so vivid, extremely vivid. My heart was pounding. It was crazy. Again, I don't know what was going on. I wasn't on drugs. I wasn't doing anything. All that shit was uh, normal. But this dream, again, very vivid. Why was I killing zombies of all things in this life? Yes, doing the Lord's work, Michael, indeed. I was uh, killing these, these Nazi zombies, I guess. I don't, I don't know what was going on. Yes, laugh it up. I mean, it was ridiculous. I woke up, though, and... Again, I was, this was the most entertaining dream I've had in a long time, and it was super vivid. Why? Why? Yeah, the eclipse, maybe. That's probably what it was. It was, the, yeah, those kind of dreams, bad dog. They were kind of scary. I woke up, my heart was uh, racing, and I was almost like sweaty, but to be honest, I was uh, enjoying it quite immensely. I don't know why. I had a great time, and tonight I hope all of you had a great time. And yes, I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick little story here before I sign off. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor and pleasure to do the program for all of you yet again. And the world is a mysterious place, and life itself is a mystery. Until next time, mahalo. Oh, my God.
Transmission now. 